Good evening, audience. Welcome to yet another beautiful episode of These Love the Language. Just two days ago, one of my friends called me and said he he wanted some more clarity, some more clarification on the usage of the example so. So not only that, I will give you a couple of examples more under adverbs of degree. So here we go. So. So this is the word in question. He wanted some more clarity on this. He wanted probably one or two examples also. So quiet. It's quiet, not quiet. That is keep quiet. That's a different word. And simply. So I am. So excited to watch the next movie of Shah Rukh Khan. His name comes in three parts. I am so excited to watch the next movie of Shah Rukh Khan. Next is Koit. The episode of the famous or we will make it some more specific the episode of the telly show the episode of the telly show this week was quite beautiful The episode of the telly show this week was quite beautiful. Next is simply the terms, the terms are written simply in a very simplified format, very, very simple terms. Well, I think my friend's doubts are clear and we took a couple of examples also in addition to that. Here we come to the end of adverbs. That's the fifth part. We started with noun, then pronoun, adjective, verb and adverb. This is the fifth part of parts of speech. The other day, I was revising all my episodes, my portions. I couldn't cover the whole number of episodes, but I selected a few episodes and then I was revising it. I was asserting myself whether I have laid the proper foundation to move on to the next part of parts of speech, that is tense. So hopefully, I convinced myself that yes, we have laid the proper foundation, the basic foundation to move on to the next part that is tenses. These all whatever we have gone through plus tenses and future portions, everything. These are all the foundations of English language, English grammar. But then I wanted to just give you a foundation, a basic structure from where you can catch up with tenses easily. And during my initial episodes, I told you, if, if, if memory leads me right, <coughs> that some of the people, some of the trainers, some of the uh, professors, they start the English grammar 
from the tenses but i thought before starting with the tenses i must give you a basic structure of what the fundamentals or what the language is all about so that was my very simple attempt to get on to that i still remember my professor uh, started with tenses when i was in the plus 1 class so there are certain factors based on which the person who 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 takes the class move on build up construct the language so i thought this is the way i should be doing it coming to the tenses i told you earlier also this is the trickiest part of english grammar this is slightly complicated also there is no other part is as complicated as tenses we all know there is present tense past tense future tense if you take the case of present tense then simple present tense present continuous present perfect present perfect continuous like you know uh i did something i have been doing something i was doing something i am doing something so when you when you include all these when you try to recollect something when you when you construct something as speech these all things come very handy without knowing or without being thorough with the tenses you can't construct a speech you can't uh, have a good conversation i heard so many people uh, speaking with grammar errors tense errors well at the initial stage people may not mind that but over a period of time when you grow up when you are in a good position it looks very awkward when we speak bad english the fox call it bad english so that's one thing i wanted to tell you we all uh, listen to eminent speakers professors learn scholars there are certain catch points in their speech salient features they speak flawlessly fluently like the flow of a river without any interruption you all might have wondered how does it happen i am not able to speak like that well over a period of time it is possible for anyone then what is the next thing which catches our attention in their speech that is their accent pronunciation elegance the grace polished language fine tuned and of course style also matters see all these features when blended together there becomes a splendid speech presentation there are people whom we worship we wait for their channel to release we are eager to listen to them we all dreamed of speaking like that person we can't obviously speak like or act like another person exactly but we can develop our own modalities our own style by learning tense learning grammar we should be very confident about the tenses when we try to narrate something when we try to describe explain something if our tenses are not clear the listener will not get a bright idea of what we speak so i would say it is my personal opinion tense is the is the backbone of english language other day one of my colleagues is an outsider not from my workplace told me sir i watch your all programs your all episodes i am happy that you are doing it it's very useful it's useful to my children and children told their classmates also and so many 
their classmates of my kids are watching your channel their parents also watch your channel but it is my personal opinion that if you can kindly explain it in the regional language it would be very useful even for me also because some of the portions you you mentioned i am not able to understand so i told him but it's not it's not a regional language program it's it's english the point is you you have a limitation when you re use a regional language while learning or while dealing with english language then how many regional languages will you be using that's one point second extravagance of regional language while learning english will badly influence your english language in the in the higher up up the ladder when you go interviews discussions there is a there is a part called influence of regional language in english so that is a negative thing when you overly use regional language while learning english that will eventually influence your language skill your standard in a very bad way so this is my personal opinion when you learn english learn it in english i still remember when when i was a kid probably fourth or fifth standard when when i was put to english medium class it was very difficult for all of us to pick up the lessons whether it is english mathematics science whatever but then probably after 6 months after one year we all picked up so the basic start that has to be difficult that is difficult but when you get accustomed to that when you tell yourself when you convince yourself there is no other option you have to learn it this way that's how it is that's how it works it is a very funny language but once you master the tenses once you are confident about what you are speaking what you want to speak you can simply take the crowd in your grip you can you can keep them spellbound they would love to love to listen to you and you must be a crowd puller when you speak that is what expected from a language expert again these are all my personal view points fine before sum, summing it up for the day i want to tell you one thing muster all your courage harness all your power passion and put everything together and explore your inner self and conquer the language because language wins it will it will pay you rich dividends time will tell you that it's my promise fine that's all from today's desk it's bye from abai good night